Guys, what's the crack? Bitcoin with the Indian Sydney here. The ETF has flopped. I've clearly sold all my Bitcoin. It was the obvious thing to do. Things after crashing 10%. I got out as quick as I can. I'm lucky. I got out early. And uh, today we're going to talk about when to get back in. Okay, when to touch the thing. It's too volatile. It's too risky. I'm being sarcastic, of course, and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on in my own personal opinion. Uh, got to give you a disclaimer. Nothing what you hear here is financial advice. Do I look like a financial advisor? Is how I put it to people. If I was a financial advisor, I couldn't teach you any of this stuff. I looked into becoming one, could have done the course, but then I wouldn't be able to have taught you how I actually got rich. Okay? So I'm not one! <laughs> but what I am is I own Ireland's first Bitcoin consulting company, and uh, for four years now we've helped people to understand Bitcoin, to custody their Bitcoin securely and to help them understand how to build a plan so that they can retire early using it. And it's been a fantastic success and we share testimonials uh, of people who have been with us, you know, for two, three years and uh, life is good. I only had a message there yesterday from a guy who only worked, who doesn't work in the winter anymore because he met me there a couple of years ago, implemented a plan and life is good. I shared that on my, uh, on my Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's Bitcoin with Dini. You'll get me everywhere, become a dinny. So the ETF flopped, okay? And, uh, and some people will be panicking, and some people will be just like, told you so, bleeding, knew it, knew it. <laughs> and of course, uh, and this is the way of it. So my, I, all I do is I like to give you a little bit of my experience of Bitcoin, what I've learned and pass it on, because there's a lot to learn in this space and there's a lot to learn to understand this thing and that's why most people they don't really make much money in this and a lot of people lose money on their first market cycle it takes them four years to figure out how to get this right um, uh, and I don't want you to have to do that now first I have to apologize last night I done my retire on Bitcoin workshop for free and the thing capped out the room filled and I had no more space to get more people in so a lot of people didn't actually get into that uh, workshop which was a pity but I'm going to look after you guys I'm going to do another one next week Okay, so you can watch out for that. And if you missed that and you want to be on the free workshop, go onto my website, bitcoinwithdini.com. On the homepage, you can put in your name and email, and that gives you my five things to know before you get started in the space, okay? That will get you on my newsletter. That will mean you get emailed the Zoom link. That will mean you have an opportunity to come as early as possible, because this next one will probably fill out, judging by the amount of messages I got for people who couldn't get into it. The last one, but I will repeat that. Uh, if you could do me a favour here and hit the like button, I call it your daily exercise. I'm steaming down to Wexford now this morning to uh, ride my motocross bike, and I can tell you, that will be my daily exercise, trying to hang on to this beast. Uh, your daily exercise is just your index finger, is all the Bitcoin Matini channel asks. Hit the like button, and uh, also hit the subscribe button, okay? Because I've got a lot to teach you. I've got a lot to teach you, and I don't want you to miss it. And a lot of this stuff is uh, time sensitive, meaning it matters when you consume it. Share this with your friends and family, especially if they're trying to get into crypto now and they're new. And of course, when we're all new, we make all the rookie mistakes. And that's why we give our money to people who actually have the right information. So the ETF was a flop, okay? The ETF launched and it was a buy the rumor, sell the news, meaning it was all priced in. Now when I say a flop, Bitcoin has crashed to prices not seen since earlier on this week. So in relative terms, like, not a big deal. In absolute terms, nothing has happened, okay? This is how Bitcoin works. Big, a lot of financial, like the way markets work, let's just give you a broad, a broad uh, understanding of markets. There's this concept called max pain, that the, the market wants to give max pain to the most amount of people, okay? So the max pain of the spot ETF launching was there's a lot of short-term thinkers, people who try and trade Bitcoin. And this is a really bad idea. You don't need to do that, okay? I can promise you, no, I won't promise you, but I'm pretty confident you won't retire early by trading Bitcoin. However, I can as close to promise you that in my opinion, you will retire early by not trading Bitcoin and using it as a pension accumulation strategy instead, okay? So let all the noise happen. Let the traders trade. Let them lose all their money. So traders set all these longs. So longs is basically when someone bets the price of Bitcoin is going up. Except they bet with money they don't own. So they take out what's called leverage. 
and of course with the spot ETF, okay, people who don't really understand that there's buy the rumor, sell the news, and they don't understand that Bitcoin causes max pain, and they don't understand that trying to predict short-term moves is insanity, and it's just a way to give your money away, but they don't understand all this. And there's millions and millions of these people all over the planet who don't understand any of this. They're not lucky enough to find this channel, okay? So they go to buy a bit. Okay, and you'll notice I don't put up referral links for that because I don't encourage you to trade. I'm like, I, don't only encourage, I only encourage you to do what I do. And that's why I'll only refer, I'll only put up a link to anything, which is where my money is or how I'm operating or what I'm doing. Because look, <laughs> I can get like five grand a week by shilling buy a bit links, but I don't do it. I've always been ethical and had integrity. And I know it's a bad idea. But you go on to buy a bit, you put your 10 grand down, okay? You whip out 10x leverage on it, now you're trading with 100 grand, okay? So now you can actually move the price of Bitcoin more because you've borrowed that money. Now the problem is, is that if the price of Bitcoin corrects, just a few percentage points, you get liquidated. Meaning, uh, you know, if you have a stop loss, you get stopped out of your position, and if you don't, you lose your capital. Now I'll just give you a little, little lesson on trading. Be, why all these companies let you trade for free? Okay, because they're not generous. They're not looking out for you, okay? They're not your mate. The reason they let you trade for free is because all of your positions, they basically have the database. They know every single little retail trader sits. And what do they do with that? What do they do? They sell it to the big hedge funds. So the big boys, they know where you are, they know where your stop loss, and they can move the price of Bitcoin because they're not trading with 100 grand on leverage. They might be trading with 10 million on leverage. So they can take the price of Bitcoin in the short term, wherever they want to, just to get your coins off you and just to liquidate you. And that's why it's a silly game. You can't win in that game. You don't have the capital, okay? And most people don't have the time or the sophistication to manage that because they have another job. The plan we use is you have your job. That's what you're good at. Specialize in that, earn euros, and build a Bitcoin strategy that takes you 30 seconds a month to action once you've built it, okay? So short term, all the longs had to get flushed out and wiped out because that's Max Payne, okay? And uh, I'm not sure if they're all flushed out, but uh, there was a couple of hundred million longs liquidated over the last 24 hours. Sorry for people who are short term thinkers, but short term thinking always punishes you. We had other factors, so the grayscale trust, okay? Finally, people are actually able to sell down on that. Okay, and maybe they're just liquidating out of Grayscale and rotating into one of the other 10 products because Grayscale product had the highest fees. So if you have the Grayscale product and you can now sell it, you're like, well, maybe I'll rotate out of this and uh, I'll swap to one of the other products where the fees are much lower. So perhaps we have a bit of that. There's a lot of sell pressure there. Or we also have people who have been in the Grayscale product for a really long period of time. And maybe they just want to buy a Ferrari okay, or a Lambo, or go on a family holiday. And they're fully entitled to do that. Have at it, I say, because they've invested, and you invest to have better experiences, and to own your time, and have more time with your family. So perhaps some of these investors, it was their chance to actually get out of the asset. This is how it works. Now, how I operate, and how I teach all our clients uh, to do this, to get this right is, I, I think in Bitcoin, I don't think in euros, I don't think in dollars, Although when I'm pricing Bitcoin, I do price it in dollars. Okay? Because everything does, that's how the, the world prices Bitcoin in, in dollars. So I just, I don't price it in euros because everything I consume, we're always talking about the dollar price. But how I value my portfolio is in Bitcoin denominated terms. Now what that means is, and guys, if you're enjoying this, hit the like button, okay? And for fun, okay, while I'm doing my waffle, because I want to know, because there's, there's wisdom in the crowd, Okay, two heads are better than one, even if they're sheep's heads. That's what my granddad always says. Never actually got to meet him, but he must have been a wise man. So I want to know, at the end of this year, what do you think the price of Bitcoin is? Get your guesses in below. Let's just see. Just, just, and, and listen, it's okay to be wrong. Well, a lot of people, they're afraid to make a decision because they don't want to be wrong. It's like, no, I'll just do nothing. Make a damn decision. It's fine to be wrong. This is how we learn. And it's only a speculative bit of fun. But I just want to see where you guys think the price of Bitcoin sits at the end of 24. Remember, our halving happens in April. And then we start to run out of supply. So start dropping in the comments there. And I'll be interested to have a read of them when I get down to Wicklow. 
or uh, down to Exford. I'm in Wicklow now, I think. So, how I price the portfolio is in Bitcoin terms. And every month I just wanna have more Bitcoin than I had the previous month. Now, obviously, I don't have $42,000 in my bank account to just go and buy a Bitcoin every month, okay? But I do have a couple of hundred. And like a pension strategy, I just grab some Bitcoin, grab some Bitcoin. All I'm concerned about is that the Satoshi, which is the smallest unit of Bitcoin, that that's going up. And for a couple of hundred quid, sometimes I can get a couple of million Satoshis. So when the price comes back like it has, well, guess what? I'm crossing my fingers and hope it stays there because my DCA day is at the end of this month. And I'd rather buy, I'd rather accumulate to my Bitcoin position at 42,000 than I would at 48,000, at more value for money. Because remember, humans are terrible investors. If this was, if this was anything else, okay? If this was a Netflix subs subscription and they just gave you 10% off, you'd be like, oh, smash boy, okay? If this was anything that you like to purchase when there's a sale, people rush and they grab it. But for some reason, because people don't know how to invest, when things go on sale, people run away from them and they go, whoa, I might wait and think, see, does the sale continue? Is there another sale on the sale? Because there could be a sale on the sale on the sale. So I'll wait, okay? Or I'm afraid it's cheap now, so I don't abide. It fears me when it's cheap. I, prepare, I prefer when it's really expensive. I'm comfortable to buy something when it's more expensive than more cheap, than when it's cheap. <laughs> and this is how we think. This is probably, this is how I thought when I didn't understand how to invest, like, and I was learning, you know, because we all sort of do it. And that's why your education is so important. It's so important that you understand uh, Bitcoin. I remember when we had the crash, and I'll give you a little tip. Uh, there's a, a friend of mine. Um, he's, uh, he's a hedge fund guy. Um, He's had a serious career, and uh, he's a great guy to get his pers perspective on things. And um, so we were chatting in, tw in 2021, or 2020, I can't remember, whenever that first crash happened. And of course he was excited, because he's a hedge fund guy, he understands what's going on. He's just like, oh my God, Denny, what the hell is happening here? People are giving us their Bitcoin for so cheap. Like, what's wrong with these people? Why don't they get this? Now, this is a guy who manages hundreds of millions, okay? And he's enthusiastic and delighted that there's a massive crash happening. Meanwhile, average retail people are crying into their spilt milk, okay? And they're selling them to some guy who's already a multi, multi, multi-millionaire <laughs> who's gobbling it all up. And as he said to me, this is what Shane said, he said, Dinny, has anything broken in Bitcoin? Has the protocol stopped working? Is there not a block being created every 10 minutes? And I'm like, no. The only thing that's changed is that the price action is coming down. And he's like, I know, it's beautiful. <laughs> and this is how investors think. You want to accumulate things that are cheap, okay? So when you do your due diligence on an asset, okay, you price it in what you speculate, because it's a speculation. You speculate its future value to be. And this is how investors think. And this is why I love it when Bitcoin corrects. I love it when Bitcoin crashes. And this is a golden opportunity for all you new people to actually start doing your work, okay? Because I don't think this lasts for too long. We have the, the supply demand economics are gonna kick into effect, okay? You now have Wall Street selling this thing, all right? And while it's not gonna put the price to 100 grand overnight, it is gonna put the price to 100 grand sooner than we all think. And over the next 15 years, you want to see the damage they're going to do to the price of Bitcoin. You want to see the damage they're going to do to Bitcoin's adoption. Because these guys are professionals and they're going to sell it to the world. They're going to sell it to the richest people on the planet and they're going to sell as much as they can. Check out the Wolf of Wall Street, guys. That's how it works there. These people are hungry and they want to make money and they make money by selling. Okay, and Bitcoin's the highest performing thing, so they're going to sell the highest performer. And after people own their Bitcoin for one year, and they check in with their money manager and they ring up their Wall Street trader and they go, yeah, what's the crack? And he's like, yeah, 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 it's awesome. Our 1% in Bitcoin. Well, it's up 120% this year. And then the client goes, why do we only own 1%? Then they go to two, four, eight, 16. You see where this goes, people? Bitcoin is a black hole and it's gonna suck capital out of everything in the next 15 years. Pay attention to it, read as many books as you can on it, get educated on it. Learn how to manage risks though. 
because most of you people are emotional. You'll know you haven't a clue how to do this if you're emotional about the price of Bitcoin, okay? If that's dictating your decisions, you might still do okay, but you won't perform as well as those of us who don't do this by our emotions. Um, so that's my number one tip to you is get yourself educated so you understand how to manage risk, so you understand your position, so you understand your allocations, so you understand your asset as well. And we haven't even talked about custody. The custody is probably one of the number one things, but and that's like how you keep the Bitcoin, don't lose it over the next 10 years. But that's my two cents on the spot ETF. You have a golden opportunity now. There's a sale on. Don't know how long it continues. I don't know if there's going to be a sale on the sale. Maybe there is. Doesn't make a difference to me. Doesn't make a difference to all our clients because we're schooled, we're educated, and we have strategies and plans. And that's what you have to do, guys. You have to get a strategy and plan for yourself and your family. You have a massive opportunity here, okay? Such an opportunity. And the supply, demand, economics are going to kick into effect. Bitcoin halves in April, April, May, I'm not sure exactly where it falls. I think it's April. And, uh, and then the, the supply of Bitcoin is cut in half. Well, we have the demand for Bitcoin going up because now we have BlackRock selling it, Fidelity selling it, ARK selling it, and the other uh, eight companies that are all selling spot ETFs, plus all the existing players, plus all the education, plus the fact that the cost of living keeps going up so people start to question what is money. And once you question what is money, baby, you go down a deep rabbit hole and you get spat out in an orange world. It's called Bitcoin because it is the solution to what is money and it's the solution to all your money problems. Some of you have done the work and you understand all this. Some of you are earlier on your journey and you're just here to make some money. That's fine. That's where we all came in. That's where I came in too. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. Get educated. Forget the short term. The short term doesn't matter. Okay. My last little tip to finish. I remember back in uh, 2020, okay, I bought some Bitcoin and Bitcoin was just over 10 grand or 12 grand I think it was. Can't remember, 10 or 12. And uh, about three weeks later, it was trading at seven grand. And I was suffering the pain that the people who probably FOMO'd in there when Bitcoin was 48 grand, they put as much money as they got in, into it, not managing risk, okay? I was like, damn it, what have I done? But here's hindsight, the tops become the bottoms. Today, what would I give to be able to buy 10 grand Bitcoin? Knowing what I know now, I'd have taken out a loan. <laughs> but you see what I mean? And it's the very same today, that whoever bought Bitcoin at the top, in time, highly likely to me, that that becomes the local bottom. And that's just how this thing works. And this is how we separate the men from the boys, because the men who have done the work to overcome the volatility, and it's the boys who haven't done the work, just want to make easy money, so they buy high, they sell low, they sit in the sidelines, and, uh, and then they pile back in a few years later at a way higher price, and repeat the mistakes over and over and over. You guys aren't gonna do that, you guys are smart, you guys are learning, you guys are part of the Bitcoin Athena community. And life, the future looks bright. Guys, I'm gonna log off here now, I'm not sure what the connection is like as I head down to Wicklow. Wexford, I'm in Wicklow. I see a sign for Wexford now, so hopefully we're getting closer. Let me know what you think the price of Bitcoin is at the end of this year. I'll be interested to see what you guys think, and I'll drop in my prediction there as well. Have a super Saturday, people. Share this with friends and family. Help them overcome the volatility. Help them overcome the short-term mindset, because short-term thinkers in Bitcoin just harms you. Remember I said it's a four-year apprenticeship. You've got to be willing to hold Bitcoin for four years, and in four years you'll probably start to realize what you actually hold, and then you'll want to hold it for a lot longer, okay? Understand how to manage risk, and Bitcoin is very kind in your future. Guys, have a super day. For now, I'll say, uh, Dinny out, ignore the scammers. I'll never contact you on social media. If you have contacted me, I have a massive list of people to get back to. It's really difficult. Your best bet is if you're in a big panic and a big rush, just buy one of the products on my website, okay? Because if you're looking for consulting, you'll get my calendar. You'll be in to see me. There's a spot or two next week, but it's just physically impossible unless I want to work 24 hours a day on my Bitcoin company to reply to everyone. And uh, I'm not going to. It's as simple as that. Because life's for a living. Guys, have a super day. Dinny out.